The COVID-19 outbreak has widened in recent weeks, intensifying concerns about the impacts on the global economy. The virus's impact on the health of Canadians is our top priority. We need to think, before we think about the economy, about the very real impacts on people, and that's what we are putting first. So what I can say is that while the full economic impact remains uncertain, the impacts on Canada and the rest of the world we see materializing through four main channels. First of all, we're already seeing the impacts on commodity prices, in particular on oil and metals. There are significant impacts on travel and tourism, as we're seeing travel dis disruptions, travel restrictions that are changing the situation for sectors like air transportation, retail, hotels, and restaurants. We're seeing uh, important impacts on global supply chains, particularly on a supply chain that includes Asia in the mix. And we're seeing significant impacts on business and consumer sentiment globally. We're thinking about our response in three steps. Obviously, the first step has everything to do with health and protecting Canadians. And that is, in the immediate term, we are working to ensure that our federal public health capability to respond continues to be world class. In the context of thinking about immediate issues, of course, we're soon going to be announcing support for Canadians who uh, would have to be quarantined in order to prevent the spread of the virus. So those are, those are immediate steps that we're working on. As a second step, I will tell you that we are continuing to monitor the impact on businesses and workers. And I will tell you that we have the tools to respond very quickly. As, a, uh, as an important uh, next step, I will tell you that as I'm preparing the budget for 2020, we're increasing our risk adjustment in that budget, the risk adju adjustment provision to ensure that we're ready and able to respond.